the Amazing Smile Foundation, a health-related non-governmental organization based at Pato in the North Tong districts of the Volta region, with support from the chief of the Te clan of Pato, Togwe Agbenyu Banahini Jujegwe Adovo the Seventh, as well as the Paramount Queen Mother of the Pato traditional area, Mamaga Asiku the Fourth, has presented huge quantities of assorted educational resource materials to three busy schools in the area. This is how the Dadume DA Basic School Cultural Troop welcomed the traditional leaders, the American visitors, the teachers and pupils, as well as the general public to the event. learning materials included several boxes of library books of all subjects, textbooks, as well as footballs for sports activities. The items, valued at several thousands of Ghana cities, are expected to help improve the academic work of the pupils not only in the school but also after finishing their studies at the basic school level. A 16-member delegation of educational experts, teachers, and friends from the United States of America (USA) also accompanied Togwe Agbenyu Banahini Jojegbe Adovo the Seventh from the U.S. to the event at Avayime. The delegation had an educational package for more than 200 pupils present at the function. The American team gave out more than 100 pieces of school bags with each containing learning materials such as writing pads, pens and pencils, crayons, rulers and sharpness amongst others. About 25 teachers from the three beneficiary schools, namely the Siko DA Junior High School, Aveime RCJHS as well as Aveime Methodist JHS were not left out. Each teacher did not only receive a certificate of appreciation, but also an undisclosed cash package or award. As part of the visit and led by the Ghanaian hosts, members of the U.S. delegation interacted with the pupils in their various classrooms through individual introduction sessions. They also offered pieces of advice to the pupils, encouraging them to aspire to greater heights in their own small ways. My name is Tanya, and I am from New Jersey in the USA. And I used to be a school teacher, and now I have my own educational consulting firm. My name is Akua. Um, I was born and raised in the US and California, but my dad is from Ghana. Um, so that's nice. I live in a place called Houston, Texas, and I have a group of friends and family with me from different parts of the U.S. But well, thank you all for having us. I feel so welcome. 
I love the energy. I love the community. So thank you all for having us. Founder and Chief Executive Officer of the Amazing Smile Foundation, Millie Kumasenu, described the event as a successful one, adding that the gesture would go a long way to motivate the pupils to study hard. Thank God we just had a very successful program again with the children. This time around, that was a book donation. Two months ago, we had a, a health screening for 300 people and thank God we have something else today that has put a smile on the face of the students and the teachers as well. We are expecting that this will go a long way to help them to study hard and for them also to pass their exam, for them to become our future leaders. I pray this will help them to get to a greater high for their, in their studies and also for the teachers also to, to teach them to become great in future in order for them also to give back to our society. We thank Togbe Badahini at Duvon Jojegbe so much for all the support because he led the delegation all the way from the United States of America and it come to be such a blessing. So we appeal for others also shall follow their footsteps so that we can grow because we are growing bigger. We need more support from others then we can also work to put a smile on the face of many. She urged the pupils, especially the girls, to abstain from sex and other immoral activities so as to avoid teenage pregnancy, which can ruin their future. So encourage the children to learn hard, especially for the girls, for them to abstain from sex and study so that they can grow to become great in future. Then they can have a better life not to just stay in the village with the boys uh, teenage pregnancy so it's my prayer for them to study hard like you see the dedication that came for them also to become great in future so that they can also help to support others that is my prayer for the children and i encourage them to learn and become a better people in future Agbenyu Panahini Jojegbe Adovo the seventh a Ghanaian physician based in the u.s who led the delegation to the event and the Aveime Bato community noted that the gesture was to support local schools and children in the area to improve their academic performance. According to him, the gesture is just the beginning of many more things to come. The goal of this project is to support the local Aveime DR AC school. Um, I brought a delegation uh, from the United States of uh, 16 people, uh, people that are passionate about children, people that want to give back to uh, the community and um, you know what we did was to bring um, supplies you know for our students um, in the secondary school JSS. Uh, we were able to um, by God's grace provide a hundred um, backpacks full of supplies to all the JSS students and then we also were able to raise some money to support the teachers and uh, we need to take care of the next generation uh, the kids um, education is the key you know so my message is that you know even as they strive to to study we need to support them um, and also support the teachers that you know that impact you know their lives as well so so basically thank everybody thank amazing smile uh, thank the delegation from the US and also um, and, uh, and God's um, grace and thank God that we're able to accomplish this for me this is a, a, a calling this is a um, what I, I, I believe that I was called to do is to provide to give back you know to the community um, you know like I said during our last project, which is the screening projects in December, you know, my health screening in December, my calling is to, to bring back to the community everything that we have learned abroad, everything that we've learned, everybody that was in this, that came from this village, that went abroad, that went outside Accra, everything that you've learned. My goal is that everybody will come back and be able to give, you know, to the village, you know, as well. So this is 
you know, just the beginning, you know, by God's grace and hopefully, you know, if we have long life, we'll continue to, to just impart the community and do different things, you know. So this is just one of many things to come. Leader of the U.S. delegation, Natalie Blake Hoffman, described the visit to Ghana and the Avaima community in particular as very welcoming. She had the following pieces of advice for both pupils and teachers across the country. So I've come with friends and family to come to show them the beauty of Ghana. And one of our missions is what we do is every country that we visit, we find a way to make an impact in the country that we're visiting. So today, of course, we're in Bator and we're honored just to be a blessing to the kids, to the students, the teachers and the community. And so thank you all for welcoming us. It's been such a blessing. We, we feel very well received and we just pray, we'll continue to pray for you, pray for your prosperity and the success and thank you for having us. My message for the children is always one, keep God first in everything you do and study. Education is the one thing that no one can take from you. And I'm a product of education. I'm a product of open, you know, I've had open doors because of my education. So stay in school, do not be distracted, study your books and stay focused. Don't let your friends or bad influences um, lead you away from what you know to do. Obey your parents and your elders, but you will go far and God will bless your efforts. For the teachers in Ghana, first I just have to say thank you. I know teaching is a labor of love, right? You have to love the children, you have to love students and love um, teaching and even have a love of learning to be a teacher. So first, thank you and God bless you. I just want to encourage you teachers, there are so many ways to bring creativity in the classroom, to introduce learning and all shapes and forms to your students. Make it fun, right? So engage them. and, and uh, Beyond that, I would just also encourage you to just continue to do what you do. Sometimes teaching, you know, you don't always get the thank yous and the pats on the back, but know that there's a God in heaven who will reward every effort that you give. Amen. A teacher of the Avaima DARC Busy School, Wisdom Na Kwesi Animle, spoke on behalf of his colleagues. He was grateful to the donors and organizers for the gesture and appealed for support for a number of brilliant and needy pupils who continue to struggle to acquire basic education due to lack of money. To our officials who have come to assist us, I want to thank them because they have done a lot and uh, we are expecting more. For us at now, we don't have enough furniture in the school, so we are expecting that they get us enough furniture to help the student. And also, some of the students are brilliant, but they don't have anybody to look after them at school. So we want them to help them also. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we need computer laboratory. Now we are in a global world, and as uh, far as we are also among the world, we need computer ICT lab to assist these students in order to move forward. The beneficiary pupils were very excited about the support. Speaking to our news team in separate interviews, the pupils said they have been well motivated to learn harder as future leaders of the country. Today has been a wonderful day for in my life. I've never seen any white man give me a gift before. Such gifts as balls, boots, and exercise bags and those things. So my thanks go for the cream mother of here and then the Togbe of this town. Thank you all. Thank you for what I have done in my life. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy what they have brought to us. Thanks to them. We are happy. Thank them. We are, we are very happy for every gift that they give to us. And we say thanks to them. May God bless them and everything. We shall always remember them for everything they did for us. As part of the visit and to also promote tree planting culture amongst the pupils on their respective school compounds, three tree seedlings were planted on the Avaima RC school compound by the guests. The leader of the U.S. delegation, 
Natalie Blake Huffman planted the first three seedlings, whereas the second one was planted by another member of the team, Leonie Alexandri. Head of the third clan of battle, Togbe Agbenyu Banahini Jijegbe Adovo the seventh effected the planting of the third tree seedling. Oh, God, if you should follow, thy grace into our hearts, that we 